The battle on the fire lines is still on in the North Bay. Cal Fire posting this video on Twitter of a super tanker dropping retardant in Robert Louis Stevenson State Park in Napa County, trying to protect it. The fire destroyed hundreds of houses and businesses. That map, released by the city of Santa Rosa, shows the extent of it. Yellow means repairs are needed. Red means the structure is destroyed and unsafe to be in. So far, more than 65,000 acres have burned. At this hour, this fire is 30% contained, 242 structures damaged, more than 1,200 destroyed. NBC Bayer's Jody Hernandez joins us from Calistoga with the very latest. Jody. Jessica, downtown Calistoga is finally starting to reopen as folks get the all clear to return home. But this area isn't out of the woods quite yet. But it, it, it's heartbreaking. It really is. Eric Streetick spent the morning trying to take in what's become of the property he's been taking care of for the last three decades. Nicknamed the Quail Cottage, the Calistoga home was totally leveled by the glass fire. I'm in shock. It hasn't fully sunk in. It really hasn't. It's, it's just almost too much to process. After nearly a week, most people in Calistoga are finally able to come home. While the glass fire is still burning north of town, it's safe for those in the city limits to return. We really thought that, you know, this was it. Jenny Wishart feared she wouldn't have a house to come home to. She's so grateful. Very good to be back. Relief to see our place is still standing. Businesses are reopening in downtown Calistoga. The Silverado Pharmacy has a lot of orders to fill. The folks who run it say they too feel lucky. We weren't sure if it was going to burn or not, so we just took out the medications that we could save. But a lot of homes and businesses in the area weren't as fortunate. The fire has destroyed some landmark spots, including several wineries and the popular Greek Macedonian Park, where hundreds of Bay Area Greek Americans gather for celebrations. While the grounds were destroyed, miraculously, the chapel is still standing. Firefighters still have a huge task in front of them, but they're starting to get a handle on things. They are working very hard. Imagine, it's, it was close to 100 degrees over the weekend. Folks here are trying to focus on the positive as they move forward. I'm happy to see the vineyards. There's some greenery and some life still in the neighborhood. 